Sean Kincaid Show on 97.5, The Fanatic, Philadelphia. Um, in Cooney's Corner, Bob thinks Monday could be a very interesting day. Now, let's see what's in Cooney's Corner. All right, let, let's play this out. Let's say the Eagles go up against the Lions, and no matter how it happens, they lose. Okay. Okay? Now, there's one of two ways. They, they lose and they look horrible, or the, it's a close game and they lose. Either way, they're losing to an 0 17. You're coming off a week where your head coach uh, played botanist, where um, it, it's going to be under scrutiny what the defensive coordinator does because he's been in question about his very, very, very vanilla offense. Not under question just by fans and analysts and all that, okay. but by his own players. I'd be shocked if we came in here on Monday if the Eagles lose to the Lions and we're not saying something drastic has to happen, whether it's a change of quarterbacks, whether it's a change of head coach. I'm not saying right away. Like we're gonna we might be saying, look, this guy isn't it at the end of the year, they have to get a new head coach. But I don't think it may happen. I think if they lose, it, it has does to happen. happen. It has to happen. It has to happen. I thought about this yesterday. You know, Jonathan Gannon be- getting canned is certainly a possibility. But when you fire midseason, you hire from within. No, I don't. I don't think midseason. I don't yeah. think you do it oh, midseason. I think if they get lit up by the Lions, you have to think about it. Well, it's funny because I was I was thinking about that too. But who do you hire from if it's all a bunch of kids? I was thinking the same thing about the head coach. Like if they got if they whacked Sirianni, I don't think that would ever happen. I know. What, be the what would you do? Like you're giving you the hire? same the reins to somebody else that's here that's not ready either. That yeah. would be the fastest whacking of a coach ever. Ever, right? It would be embarrassing for Jeffrey Lurie. That's why I don't think it happens. Yeah. But Jonathan Gannon as a scapegoat. I could see that happening. It's just I can't see it eight games into. A where season. do you hire from within with this staff? So what if this offense looks pathetic? What if what if Jalen Hurts doesn't look good? I think Gardner Minshew is going to be the quarterback. So you think Gardner so Minshew starts against right? the Chargers? Maybe not if the Chargers, happens? but definitely the next week. He already planted a seed last. That's it, at Denver, so that would be uh, I could see that cousin Chunas out in Denver. I mean, he planted a seed in the press conference yesterday that Gardner's growing has tremendous growth within Get it? the offense. Plants. Seeds. Gardner. See that? Yeah. Gardner. Yeah. I think it's it was all a, adding up. It's now. all subtle. That's it, the most likely thing to change. Remember how Riddler and Joker and them would always have crime waves and yeah. they would leave little clues that all led Batman Gardner. to it? Never understood why they left clues. I don't know either. Yeah, I mean why I know you're you the wanna, Riddler and riddle you, me this, but why would you want to leave clues so Batman can f- That's the thing. Batman always won. Can figure out your next crime. It's so dumb. Why, why did Wiley E. Coyote keep going against the Roadrunner? It's the throw of the game. Would, and why did they not just <laughs> why did why did Joker just not go, I'm gonna take this gun? <laughs> we got, instead they're gonna tie them up on some contraption. Sure. It's all about the thrill of the game. They give them a chance to it's get a out. Chase. I don't understand these things at all. Yeah, but c- can you feel it? Say it's lopsided on Sunday. Say there's a glaring weakness Sunday, whether it's defense, offense, right. player, whatever it may be. I-, I-, I can't come in here on Monday, and I don't think the fans will be able to say, yeah, well, they're just bad. There's nothing you can do. They're just bad. No, I- like something yeah, may, it'll, it'll may need to be done, and it, it could be Jalen. Yeah. It could be that, that Minshew might be your man. Just to as see early he, as next week. Just to see what he's got. See just to see what this coach has, too. Yeah. Not bad. To Not see bad what the thought. coach has, yeah. Are you changing anything up? If I don't see anything different from Jonathan Gannon this weekend, I'm going to lose my damn mind. <laughs> By the I, way. Something. B- BS.com out of Novacare yesterday. How many players had to go? Oh no, we love the plant thing. That got us all fired up. Oh yeah, they, they, they oh yeah, F-bombs. that got us all fired. And he threw in some f bombs, and and it was really like it had us all fired up. Bullsheesh.com. Stop. Exactly. No, I'm telling you to stop. No, stop. Pro bunch of bullsheesh. Last time you were in a pro locker room. Bullsheesh. Uh, two years ago. Okay. Well, I was there more recently than you. When. I don't need to. You, do, you were not. No personal through my, you were through my litany. But let me tell you something. There is nothing that pro football players love more than botany talk. They I didn't realize it. that. Their favorite Harry Potter character, Neville Longbottom. He loved botany. If you ask NFL players, uh, yeah. even though NFL players get a bad rap, because many of them are highly intelligent. Yeah. Uh, a lot of highly intelligent players. Baseball players. But if you, ask, if you ask a lot of the defensive players, 
about what was botany, they would say Alex Trebek. No. They, they, would, they would not have you any You want to meet your favorite local local football players? Head to the home and garden section of your Lowe's or I home didn't realize home. that. They just hang out there. They congregate. I didn't realize that. Especially during Provember at Lowe's. Ah. They do that. Way to mix that in. They, they do that. <laughs> We're trying to teach Bob. That's, that's We're trying Lynch to teach Bob right that there. we throw that one in there. So... Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic Philadelphia